Paper production begins with the arrival of wood at the mill. Paper is made from a paste produced from a mix of 65% maple, 25% birch, and 10% poplar. They require two tons of wood to produce one ton of paste. Everything starts from this debarking drum, which removes bark from the logs. It's about a 20 minute operation. The bark will be burned to produce steam required for the operation of the mill. The debarked logs are transported on this conveyor. All is controlled by an operator. Now the logs are reduced into small pieces called kindling. They're accumulated into a pile and remain outdoors, winter and summer. The kindling looks like this. These five piles total about 30,000 tons of kindling. Next step, reduce the kindling into a paste. They begin by washing it. This screen verifies that the washer is properly loaded. Then comes alkaline cooking. This diagram controls its operation. This huge cylinder is the washer in which the kindling is cooked for several hours at a temperature of 158 degrees centigrade. And this is the recuperation boiler. It burns wood lignite at 1,000 degrees. Certain chemical products, which come out fused as lava, are recuperated. This black liquor, a residue of burned wood, will be burned to produce steam. Exiting the washer, the brown paste is washed and sent to the thickener. With this spatula, they verify the quality of the brown paste washing. The paste must be bleached. This alkaline extraction tower places the brown paste in contact with chemical products. It's bleached with chlorine dioxide and gradually becomes more white. Then the water is partially drawn off. This worm screw breaks up the paste so it can be pumped into storage reservoirs. Water is extracted with this equipment, the Belois Belbay 3 paper machine, operating at a speed of 1,060 meters a minute. Between the entry and the exit, the concentration of water in the paste falls from 95 to 5%. Here we see the sheet of paper coming out of the presses. Then analyzers verify the quality parameters of the paper and signal any anomaly. The paper is then rolled up. This roller produces enormous main spools. With this transfer arm, they change a full spool for an empty one. A roll weighs over 35 tons and contains 60 kilometers of paper. The spooler cuts the main spools into smaller, less wide rolls. Some will be delivered as is, while others will be shipped to paper cutters. Rolls are sent to an automated warehouse. In the warehouse, they store rolls which will be cut later. Robots guided on rails in the floor feed the Bielomatic paper cutter. This is the one that produces copy paper. Robots are controlled by a central computer directed by operators. Production reaches 55,000 sheets per minute. We see here the transfer section of the cutter. Four automatic catchers and operators verify paper quality before packaging. In one hour, this mill produced 6,600 packages of copy paper. A single log allowed for the production of at least 15 packages of copy paper.